In this clip, we see the devastation brought to IJN warships by carrier-based aircraft at the Navy Harbor in Kure, Japan. We'll poking around in the archives for an upcoming video detailing Navy combat lessons learned during the sinking of the battleship Musashi, I found a documentation source which indicated that bombs dropped by B-29 bombers struck the IJN Congo-class battleship Harana during the attack in the Kure naval arsenal. The intent of this video is to review the circumstances that led to the attack by B-29s on the IJN battleship Harana. The basis of this investigation is this page from a declassified July 7, 1945, 21st Bomber Command Air Intelligence Report. The image shows the IJN battleship Harana taking a bomb strike in its stern with the caption. The battleship stern was blown off by direct hits from 4,000-pound bombs during the June 22, 1945 attack on the Curry Naval Arsenal by B-29s of the 58th and 73rd Wings. The image shows direct hits and near misses on the battleship. Bomb near misses can be effective in damaging or sinking a ship if the detonation is within around 5 feet up from the hull, as discussed on this page from a 1944 Joint Army-Navy Committee document on bombs and fuse selection. They can breach the ship's hull, just like a torpedo detonation. The Harna is the oldest of the 12 IJN battleships operational during World War II. It was commissioned in 1913, just prior to the start of World War I. Various views of this class of battleship. The bomb dropped by the B-29 struck around here. This image from a 1945 Ship Shapes for B-29 cruise document shows ships anchored at Curry Harbor during the war for ship recognition purposes. The IJN battleships ISE, Yamato, and Harna are identified. Kure Harbor is located here in Honshu. For reference, Hiroshima is here and Nagasaki is here. This image shows the harbor area of Kure. The area has been divided into zones. The shaded area represents urban areas of the city sensitive to firebomb attacks. Zone 657A is the target area of the June 22, 1945 B-29 strike. The battleship just happened to be docked here within the target zone. Another view of the Naval Arsenal 657A target zone with the battleship added. A surveillance picture taken just prior to the attack with the battleship docked. This page from a 1945 21st Bomber Command tactical mission report outlines the reasons why the arsenal was selected for destruction and the bomb type, size, and fuse selected. The Kure Naval Arsenal is a major manufacturer of naval armaments. The B-29s from the 58th and 73rd Wings attacked the arsenal with 1,289 general purpose bombs that ranged in size from 500 to 2,000 pounds. The bomb's detonation train for all bombs started by a tail fuse set with a 0.025 second time delay. Although intelligence reports indicated the battleship was struck by 4,000 pound bombs, this was a mistake. The largest bombs dropped by the B-29s was of the 2,000 pound class size. The bombs were released from an altitude of 18,000 feet. This map shows a route to and from the target during the 14 and a half hour mission. Additional information of the mission is listed on this page. Six groups attacked the target during the day. A single mean point of impact or aim point was selected. 162 B-29s attacked the target with each bomber carrying 5.5 tons of bombs. No fighters were sighted during the mission. This map shows the target aim point for the 162 attacking B-29s. This table lists the bomb strike distance from the aim point. 288 bombs out of the 1,289 bombs released struck within 1,000 feet of the aim point. The 288 bomb strikes can be represented on the target map. 415 struck between 1,000 and 2,000 feet. We can add these strikes to the map. The battleship is located within this strike zone. 192 bombs struck at distances between 2,000 and 3,000 feet, represented here. The battleship is within the strike zone too. 184 bombs struck beyond 3,000 feet of the aim point. These would be classified as gross error strikes.
This map shows the extent of damage sustained by the June 22, 1945 B-29 raid with the caption 72% of the roof area of the arsenal was damaged. The battleship is docked here. The solid buildings indicate a destroyed or structurally damaged building. Crosshatched indicates a gutted building or structure, and single crosshatch indicates minor roof damage. Given the strike image from the intelligence report, one or more bombs struck the battleship around here. So what happens when a 2,000-pound bomb dropped from an 18,000-foot altitude strikes the upper weather deck of a Congo-class battleship? This page lists the Congo-class battleship's rough armor deck thicknesses and locations from the channel's last video. The weather deck is constructed from a half-inch thick armor, as is the main deck 8 feet below. The second deck is 4-inch thick armor, located 8 feet below the main deck. The bombs can penetrate through two inches of armor based on this chart which relates bomb armor penetration power based on the type of bomb and altitude of release. The bomb will penetrate the two upper one half inch thick armored decks but be stopped at the four inch thick deck. It will detonate here and tear through the four inch thick deck. This premise is based on the data in this chart which relates the thickness of armor a detonating bomb can punch through based on bomb type. A 2,000 pound general purpose bomb can punch through 4.8 inches of armor. The damage should extend into the battleship's lower internals below the waterline, but in this case did not sink the ship. The Harana was attacked on July 24, 1945 by carrier aircraft scoring a single hit that caused light damage. The battleship is again attacked by carrier aircraft on July 28th. The number of hits varies with sources, but it was likely struck by 8 bombs and 10 near misses. The battleship sinks. This page from the Lexington's Aircraft Carriers After Action Report outlines the attacking planes loadout. The goal of these attacks is to destroy the IJN warships in Kure Harbor. The columns represent the type of plane, squadron, number that took off, attack the target, bomb type, bomb size, number of bombs carried per plane, and fuse setting. Looks like all of the Hellcats, Corsairs, Helldivers, and Avengers attacked with either 500 or 1,000 pound general purpose bombs. They likely attacked with general purpose bombs instead of armor piercing bombs, given the armor piercing bombs' poor performance during the Battle of Leyte Gulf. The carriers were some 200 miles from the target and they expended rounds, likely by strafing the ships. Let's watch a video of carrier planes heading to attack Kure Harbor and some post-war footage of the carnage. During the July 28th attack, carrier aircraft claimed sunk three battleships, one aircraft carrier, and five cruisers. Japan's greatest naval base, Kore, on the island of Honshu, once sheltered and serviced units of the mighty Nipponese fleet. But Halsey's carrier planes roared over and rained tons of bombs on installations, gutting shipyards, and causing thousands of casualties among skilled Jap workmen. But the Nip fleet no longer had need of servicing. It was far beyond repair. Once a powerful seagoing force, the naval strength on which Japanese warlords based their dreams of conquest wallows in the mud of Kore Harbor. These Navy pictures show the extent of the damage that sank those arrogant hopes. Proper punishment for a war-mad nation on the loose. 